Welcome to our live training session number 31. We're going to be learning how to tune an 8th gen Honda Civic Si using Honda to Flash Pro. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. It's going to have a bone stock K20 engine. It has a Kraftworks supercharger kit. It's going to have an upgraded pulley. In addition to this, it has Graham's 1000cc injectors, a return style fuel system with an upgraded fuel pump and an external fuel pressure regulator, race headers, three inch cat back exhaust, and we're gonna be tuning it on 93 octane again using our Honda to Flash Pro. So now that we went over all the details of the vehicle, let's jump into our live training session so we can create our base calibration file and get our engine fired up. Welcome to our live training session here with our Kraftworks Supercharge 8th Gen Civic Si. Now we went over all the details and modifications that have been done to the vehicle. Let's jump into our Flash Pro Manager software so we can create our base calibration file and begin our training course. So moving into our Flash Pro Manager software here I have open on the screen, we're going to move to the upper left hand corner under New Calibration. This is going to be where we select the calibration type that's going to be specific for the year make model vehicle we're working with in Flash Pro. So in this case, we can see the model Civic Si. 2006 to 2011. That's already going to be selected on an 8th gen application. That's what we're working with. And we can see the vehicle. We have a whole bunch of different choices. Now we are in the US market here. So we're going to have US or Canada market based vehicles. It is not a 2006. So my other option here is 2007 to 2011. We'll select this is going to be what we're working with. Now, taking a look here, we're going to have a whole bunch of different choices for base calibrations in the, in the directory here from Honda. So these are all been uh, tuned from Honda for these various modifications that you'll find here in the descriptions. It doesn't really matter what we select in this case for the file. We're going to go in and basically wipe everything out and uh, go in and, and set this up so that we're ready to do our tuning process and do this properly. So I'm just going to go and select here an AEM short ram intake race header high flow cat stock cat back. We're going to go grab this one right here, click OK, and then we can see it's going to be opened up and ready to go and be edited. Now, the Flash Pro is going to have a couple different sections that we're going to be working with. We have our calibration section here. This is where we program all the background details, such as our VTEC engagement point, um, the uh, injector size, the injector data that we're working with, uh, the map sensor that we're working with. We want to have mass airflow or we want to have speed density. So there's going to be all kinds of things in the background that we need to program in the calibration section. Then we actually do our editing and our tuning in our tables here in the main section, as we can find. We have a table open right here right now. Um, so let's jump into our calibration section. And we're going to go into program all the background details first for this vehicle. And then we'll jump here and set up our tables um, towards the end of this video so that we're going to have those prepped and ready to go uh, for the actual tuning process in the next video to get started. Let's go here to our calibration. And we're going to move here. Just give it a second. We're we'll moving to our calibration section. Now, what we're going to find, we have a bunch of choices here for gear ratios. We see all our gear ratios listed. We see the final drive here. If we've changed the final drive or changed the gearing in the vehicle, this is going to be where we have to update some things. Now, specifically, if we've changed the gear set in the vehicle and our third gear has changed, we have to know the number of countershaft teeth that the new gear set has. Otherwise, it's not going to be displaying the speed correctly. It's going to throw everything off. So we'd have to update that, that value right here. And you have to know how many teeth are on that countershaft gear. In this case, it's all stock. I don't have to do anything. Now in the notes section here, we're going to have to pop in some notes about this vehicle. I always like to populate notes when I'm doing my tuning process here um, and setting up my calibration file. That way, if I have a lot of files in my tuning directory, I'm able to pop into different files and see what was done. And, and I'm not going to remember every last detail in a vehicle. So this is going to be the point or the place where you want to go and populate some of that. So right now we'll say we have a KW supercharger kit. We have grams, 1000 cc injectors. We have a DW 65C fuel pump. Uh, we do have a return fuel system. So it's a return fuel system. And our base fuel pressure, which is going to be very important, we're going to be talking about this in a little bit when we're setting our injector uh, data information here in our Flash Pro, it is at 45 psi approximately with the vacuum line off the regulator. So uh, return fuel system, base fuel pressure at 45 psi. Again, that's going to be super important to, to note that and reference it. And it's a great way to put it in the note section. You're probably not going to remember what it's going to be at uh, maybe six months from now, or especially if you're doing a lot of vehicle uh, tuning. So if you have a shop and you're going to be tuning a lot of stuff, it's always good to put all this kind of background detail information here in the note section. Um, this has a race header. It has a thermal three inch exhaust. It's a J35 throttle body. And we'll be tuning it on 93 octane. So we could probably add some more details in here if we'd like, but for right now, that's be sufficient to get started here. So let's jump into our fuel section. And this is going to be where we populate all of our injector information, as well as converting this file from a mass airflow based file to a speed density based file. So 
That's going to be what we want to tune this on, not with the mass airflow sensor. So first things first, this has Graham's 1000 cc injector. Now I went onto the Graham's website and I actually went into their data sheets for their injectors. I have it open in my browser right now. We're using this particular part number here. It comes with the Craftworks in the kit. Now, because I have a return style fuel system. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.